A family in Fort Atkinson has a warning for trick-or-treaters this Halloween. This after a dad found medication in his daughter's candy. The incident happened last night while trick-or-treating in a five-block area around Madison Avenue and Robert Street in Fort Atkinson. News 3's Valina Jones has the story. For Atkinson police are reminding parents to double check their kids candy this Halloween after one family found something that wasn't so sweet after trick or treating. If it was an accident, things do happen, but people need to be very cautious about that. Halloween is filled with tricks and treats, but when Wayne Ladwig checked his 16 year old daughter's candy after a night of fun, he noticed something that didn't belong. To think that, you know, you're going out to have a good time and trick or treat and find medication inside her trick or treat bag. It's very small and it looked like it could look like a little, you know, those little smarty candies. Ladwig found this red pill at the bottom of the bag, small enough to blend in with the rest of the candy. He immediately called police and with the help of his sister made a plea to social media to warn the rest of the neighborhood. If a small child just kind of grabbed it out, put it in, Better safe than sorry was basically the thought that we had. You just don't know. It's very concerning. It doesn't matter what type of pill it was. It was a pill and it yes. shouldn't have got into that trick or treat bag in the first place. The pill was identified as blood pressure medication that could cause serious side effects to children. Police are looking to identify the source. Looking into the matter just to see why it was there or where it came from. Um, the biggest thing we were just trying to get out there to the public is um, hey, somebody, somebody must have got it there. It could have been on purpose. It could have been an accident. Um, we just need them to, uh, someone to come forward. And Ladwig is just glad to get the word out to prevent it from happening again. It's very important that they're very thorough when they check through trick-or-treating candy. Police believe this was an isolated incident. However, they're asking anyone with information to come forward. In Fort Atkinson, I'm Valina Jones, WISC News 3. Trick-or-treating took place Sunday in Fort Atkinson, but police say they still expect some people to celebrate tonight.